aboard the bandwagon, everybody. A rebroadcast for the American Armed Forces and their allies with Dick Powell in the driver's seat and featuring Freddie Martin and his orchestra and Andy Devine. It's Glenn Hughes and the Martin men starting us off with Dance with the Dolly. <laughs> Somebody who was mighty sweet, mighty fair to see. I asked her, would she like to have a talk, have a talk, make some talk, and all the fellows standing on the walk, wishing they were me. Mama, mama, let me dress up tonight, dress up tonight, dress up tonight. I've got a secret, gonna fess up tonight, gonna dance by the light of the moon. Gonna dance with a dolly with a hole in a stocking While our knees keep a knocking and our toes keep a rocking Dance with a dolly with a hole in a stocking Gonna dance by the light of the moon Got more kisses than a candy store Candy store, candy store Got more kisses than a candy store Sweeter than I've ever had before Still I keep on a crying for more I'm gonna dance with a dolly with a hole in a stocking While our knees keep a knocking and our toes keep a rocking Dance with a dolly with a hole in a stocking Gonna dance by the light of the moon Gonna dance by the light of the moon Dance by the light of the moon Gonna dance by the light of the moon Dance by the light of the moon By the light of the moon Walked along right good, Mr. Martin. Brings back memories of my last night at the Grove. You really had a long run down at the Grove, didn't you, Freddy? Very long and pleasant, Dick. Long? Hmm. I was beginning to think you were going to go to your grave with the groove at the Grove, mm. Freddy. <laughs> Could happen yet. Mm. Uh-huh. I'm afraid to ask what that is. I think it's human. That's divine. Divine? I think it's horrible. <laughs> He means Andy Devine. See him standing over there? Oh, oh yeah, but uh, who's the one on the right? Well, that's Andy. He's the one on the left, too. <laughs> Boy, he ought to bring that weight down. He has. Brought it all down to the same place. <laughs> <laughs> Say, <laughs> let's get him over here. Might as well let our customers in on that great singing voice. Come on over here, Andy. Yeah, step right up, Andy. We'll have the sax section move back and give you room. <laughs> I think we should audition Andy. Can't tell, he might be another Sinatra. Yeah, wouldn't that be awful? <laughs> anyway, I'm a little heavy to be leaning on a microphone. Well, if you've got your epiglottis geared for a glissando, we might give a listen. <laughs> if I had what you just said, I'd be home in bed. <laughs> Say, Andy, do you have any special key? Oh, just pick one out, Freddy. I'll match you. Okay, you're matching me. Let's make it odd man. I'm in. What you got? I got tail. Mine's head. So's mine. Two heads and a tail. That... No, no. Wait a minute. Wait a <laughs> minute. Hey, look, fellas. You all talk like you've been hit on the head with a wet cob. Now, now, if I don't knock anything over on my way out, will it be all right if I go? Now, wait a minute, Andy. We want to hear you sing. Oh, yeah, that's right. I- I'd like to do one of my most romantic numbers for you. Well, good. I'll have the boys hit a chord. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> Gruen watch time. Tick tock. <laughs> he doesn't even know what time it is. I think he's got something there, Wendell. Can't we give the heavy man a quick chorus on one of the lighter ballads, Freddy? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a little impromptu, but. Right now, I'm going to ask a very handsome and talented young man to sing. Well, will I have time to run out and call my mother? (laughs) I know he's the man for the job. Hmm. And this singer has something just a little different. Well. The song is Close Your Eyes 
and the singer, Artie Wayne. Oh, now, wait a minute. I saw... Oh, now, wait a minute. Andy? Ready for what, Dick? Just what did you two cook up over in that corner? Well, Wendell, Andy feels that he wants to sing. And I've decided that he has the germ of a fine voice. That voice, a germ? Can't we fumigate? Well, look, we've got an idea. Freddie, you used to sing, didn't you? Oh, not much. Used to hum a lot, though. Yeah, and out in the valley, I'm known as the king of the kazoos, too. <laughs> did you by any chance swallow one of those when you were little, Andy? You have kind of a kazoo accent. <laughs> Just by coincidence, fellas, I happen to have my saxophone with me today. <laughs> I got a dick. Probably caught on your coat on your way out of the house. <laughs> and I've jumped up a little jam tune called We Three. The first chorus, we sing. And the second chorus, Andy plays kazoo. And Freddie and I accompany him on the saxophones. Uh, but, Dick, I don't sing that good. Oh, come on, Freddie. What's Sinatra got that you don't have? Other than ten more years to wait for his Social Security. Now, that's what I mean. We're too old to be singing when they're guys like Frank Sinatra and Dick Haynes. And Bing Crosby. Ah, oh, he's as old as we are. Come on, here we go. <laughs> we three, we're all alone. No one wants to hear us sing. I'm Martin. I'm Powell. I'm the bird. <laughs> we wait beside the phone. Knowing it will never ring For Martin Or Powell Or Dubai <laughs> Sinatra is younger And Como's thinner than Crosby Well, he's fair 
whenever we're crooning and no one is swooning, it is almost just too much to bear. We three are getting old. Yes, we may as well confess. I'm 37. <laughs> I'm 40. I'm Powell. <laughs> Bang your horns, mates, and let the blues fall where they may.
is the Armed Forces Radio Service. <laughs>